What's up everybody, Tim Vex here and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very special bike and a very special friend with me, Samba. Hello. Hi guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking out time yeah, yeah, uh, to do this video pleasure. with me. And the bike that's standing right in front of me is... Oh my god, look at it. It's a 1989 CBR 600F. What a lovely bike, amazing yeah, it bike. Is, it is. So, talk to me about okay. the bike, man. Come on. So, it's the first CBR. Uh -huh. So, before this one, it was only CB bikes. Okay. And um, so, it came first in '87. Uh huh. And uh, it's the first um, inline four liquid cooled uh, engine. Before that, it was only CB with air cooled engine. Okay. Four cylinder inline. Crashed the market with this bike, and especially in the in the US, uh -huh. uh, winning all the EMA uh, championship with that. With okay. a bike that was capable of doing like 140 miles per hour. Damn. They are really amazing bikes. Very comfortable, fast, pretty light, like 180 uh, kg. Damn. So it's pretty good. Yeah. I think the first thing that I notice is that the design is so timeless considering that the bike came out in 1989 yeah. and still if you look this bike on the road I think people will turn their heads and see the bike it looks so damn good and uh, another thing is that the seats look so comfortable yeah, which is so quite comfy. rare <laughs> which is quite rare in modern sports bikes yeah, and or sport you, and touring you can bikes someone, someone absolutely yeah it has a proper rear yeah, seat yeah, which is. is very rare now <laughs> and Another very interesting fact that someone just told me is about the lights. So, as you can see, that the lights are yellow. So it was a. So this, one, this one is the is, is a French version. Okay. So uh, it was made in Japan, but uh -huh. export everywhere. Okay. And uh, you have like mandatory rules uh -huh. in France for the lights until uh -huh. the early 90s, uh -huh. which require to have yellow lights. I see. So they are not white. You said the bike was made for France. Is that the why? Is that why the color is something similar? No, this no? is like it was the the, the racing color. Of the ah, I see. You okay. Remember the Africa twin of the same period. Ah, of the same color. okay. And now the Africa twin of uh, like yeah, twenty now, years old. Yeah, yeah. Also the same ah, color. I see. Yeah, it's it's for the color. Honda racing color. Yeah. Has close, very close to. Uh, resemblance to the French flag but yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know the, it's a the coincidence tell me that yeah and so the bike is 100% original okay except for the exhaust uh-huh uh, which is uh, so this is not exhaust. stock it's no. been changed okay but it's like very correct it's from they, they installed it in the in the same uh, period as the bike came uh-huh and it made a good sign without being like uh, outrageous, so, uh -huh. so it's really nice. This was like one of the best selling models for Honda. Uh, yeah, they, the they are pretty light. Yeah. Like uh, even when you, when I, I, I like do the chain adjustment, you uh -huh. can feel that it's, it's some light wheels. And when you ride the bike, actually, it's, for me it was very strange because when I first ride this bike, I bought it, I really wanted it. And I was just amazed about uh, how modern it was, you know. Like, I, it's, it's not a piece of, <laughs> you know. Like, and, and I, I mean, come on, man. Hondas are yeah, never a piece of. Like in nine, like it's 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 like thirty years old bike, you know. So I was like, okay, thirty years old. It's a beautiful bike, but yeah. it's, it's not going to be a blast ride. Yeah. But actually, it is. It bro. is. It is. <laughs> it is. And uh, what makes me uh, 
love a lot is when you you look at the spec of the 2021 uh, CB650R. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. it's the same spec as this. Yeah, it's like 93 30 years, horsepower, 30 years same after. weight. <laughs> well, maybe the brake now and the suspension are better for sure, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. Another very interesting thing. Uh, so Samba parked the bike and then he asked me, okay, where do you want me to park the bike? I said, this place looks good. And then he asked me, center stand or side stand? Yeah. That's which so is nice. very rare. Which is very rare. Like you, you can't see center stands in modern sports yeah. bike uh, because of weight and also for handling. They remove it. Yeah, and maybe clearance. Yeah, clearance yeah. as well. But you still got that. So it is possible to have bikes like these with center stand. So Samo, would you regard this bike as a sports bike or a touring bike? What what category would you put it in? For me, it's uh, definitely a sport bike. It's a sport. Yeah, like okay. it's, it's not like a super sport bike like mm -hmm. uh, the new RR version. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure I never went on track with it. But I'm sure you can have fun on track. Are you going to take it on track? Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, that's, yeah, the, yeah, plan. that's the plan, bro. <laughs> I, I see like very strong design inspirations from uh, the Ducati Paso. Have you seen Ducati Paso? Yeah, it's the same. It's the same era. It's the same era. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. I feel like it has some design similarities to that bike. Because it's only a, uh, it's made, it's 93 horsepower, wow. and it okay. can go almost 140. You know, so. That's pretty good. But you, you need to be like this, <laughs> like <laughs> take on the, you know, hide the, hide behind the, this, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hide behind the windscreen. Another very interesting thing that I notice is that uh, the bikes, modern bikes, have so many fancy clusters, yeah. like you know, digital screen. I need to see the fuel consumption. Yeah. I need to see the average. I look at this; it's just like you know, no, bare very essentials, simple. <laughs> very simple, but to the point yeah and so you have you have like um, carburetors mm -hmm. and also a manual choke okay so yeah, yeah. so it's okay. like old school yeah pretty cool man how many kilometers has the bike done so far uh, 31,000 31,000 kilometers yeah and you said the bike still feels smooth to ride yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel that it needs some so I only but I have the bike uh, for like two months uh huh I feel that it needs some uh, valve adjustment. Okay. But on these bikes, it's uh, very easy. But, uh, wow, what an experience, man. So, Samuel, thank you so much you guys. for taking our time and showing and sharing this beautiful bike with us. That's all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch up with you all in the next one. Till then, goodbye. <laughs>